order at 5.03 p.m. The meeting, the regular meeting of the police commission today on Monday, March 14th, 2022. 2022. Uh, let's start with the one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, sir. Uh, the next item on our agenda is correspondence, but we have none. Do we have none, have none, or with the... Uh, we have none, have none. Okay. I didn't know if it just could not get important because Kelsey's very busy. Um, okay, moving on to the next item on our agenda, the approval of minutes for the February 14th, 2022 meeting. Motion to approve the minutes of the February 14th, 2022 meeting. Do I have a second? I'll second the motion to approve. Yes, I'll second. All right, any discussion? Does anyone have a chance to look at them? All right. All in favor of approving the minutes from the February 14th, 2022 meeting, say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, the next item on our agenda is old business. Um, does anyone have any old business? I don't. I'm yeah, just flying through. All right. Moving on to the next item on our agenda: reports, chairperson reports. That's me. Our next meeting is April 11th. Please let me know if you're going to be there because I know some will not. So I want to make sure we have corn. When you know, let me know. Uh, we had the budget workshop for the. Uh, board of selectmen or they had their budget workshop this weekend uh, the chief did a really great job presenting our budget um, and they discussed having the study of the workforce um, there was discussion about adding additional officers so there seems to be some um, favor for adding some I don't know that we'll get all six but that was very positive um, the next meeting they have is tonight um, I'm going to hop down there after this just to see what's happening. Um, if they don't make a decision on the budget tonight, then it will go to the 16th. And then that they will present, the Board of Selectmen will present to the Board of Finance the budget that they finalize on March 22nd. And then the Board of Finance will share it on April 5th and then I believe April 19th. I have two dates. I'm sure. Like the percent, sure. like they, they will discuss it and have public commentary. Right. Um, but I have two dates for that, so yeah. <laughs> they're going to share the budget. Uh, and then tentatively, it will go to a vote on May third. The other item is the uh, facility study that is in its infancy right now, but we finally did get um, some dates for them to start discussing it. Uh, I will not. But you uh, will meet with them, correct? You're still good? Uh, yeah. But okay. Else there. Well. Okay. Well, I will see if I can judge it to be there. Thank you. And I know you had some questions. My only concern was the charter of the study and to ensure that the wording of it doesn't impl imply bias one way or the other no, we don't need any more facilities, or yes, we absolutely got to have them, because that can bias the, the, the whole thing. So my only concern is the wording of the statement. Okay. okay. Is that so weird? It is not, and I just wanted to get it out there ahead of time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that concludes my report. Moving on to the Chief's report. I would say that my report is much quicker than the chairperson's report. Uh, one announcement, uh, April 9th from 10 to 2 will be our shred event here at Town Hall. Uh, this has been a co-sponsored event for many years now between us and social services. Uh, every other year we do this to help prevent um, identity theft. And so there'll be some advertising going out there that residents can bring X number, I believe it's two bags, but we'll get that confirmed. 
Um, and it's just a drive through And the shredding machine will be right here. And people can witness and be put in and, and then move on. So that's April 9th uh, from 10 to 2. Uh, we are currently uh, getting closer to filling uh, the administrative secretary position downstairs. And hopefully that will be happening sometime soon. And a little less further along with the animal control officer replacement, but uh, either way, moving, moving slowly with that as well. Uh, the, most of those services are now being covered um, as it would be um, a weekend, an evening, a midnight shift, or if the former animal control officer was off. So services are being provided, but not nearly to the same level uh, since Mark was an animal control nuisance uh, uh, person and that license and a few other specialties. Um, services are still there. And that's all I have. I had a question, but no. The Citizens Police Academy, is that happening this year? I know we've talked about it and then it got. No, the Citizens, no, because that generally starts in February. Okay. Um, we are moving full forward with the Junior Police Academy. So okay. that those applications for that announcement is out there, and that is a week long program that we host primarily here at the police department. Uh, I believe it's in August of this year, and uh, that's where uh, young kids can be exposed to um, what types of call for, calls for service that the police department handles. Uh, they have interactions with the ambulance service, the fire department, with some of the other functions of town government. They learn about uh, volunteering. We involve our police cadets in that program to help do a little bit of supervision and give, give them a little bit uh, other responsibilities. It's a fantastic week. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad we can bring that back this year. Chief, how many police cadets do you have? I think right now we have 14. That's great. And they've been very active. They, they, they'll meet a couple times a week. They'll meet here. Um, they continue to meet through part of the pandemic. Uh, it was a little challenging, but we were able to postpone for some time, but then uh, we picked it back up many months ago. Great. Very interesting group. That's what I was going to ask. Thank you. All right. Anything to add, Deputy Chief Davis? Thank you, Cody. <laughs> uh, the next item are the consolidated monthly report and the preliminary monthly activity report. I did have a question. I noticed that we seem to have a little more uh, larceny going on this month comparative to last year. Not uh, this month. Oh, January? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Let me spill a little bit. Oh, that was good. Well done. I thought I had a little a little cheat sheet on that. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Okay. No, no, that's right. We went from seven in 2021 to 18. Yeah, no, I had a list of, of uh, what those what those were. Uh, do you recall if those were some of the checks that we were considering? I was gonna, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I had a, a, a printout of the exact reasoning for, for that jump. I don't know if it was catalytic converters. No, well, we had a few of those. Right there. There were a few of those. Okay. Yeah. But it was it was um, nothing alarming outside of the catalytic converters. Uh, we have had, uh, I believe, two motor vehicle thefts uh, to date. Okay. Um, I believe they I believe one of them. I think actually both of them may have been in February. No, one was in one was in January. One was in February. Okay. Yeah. And the catalytic converters, maybe, yeah, because it's I think they were from dealerships. So it would be like, there could be like one incident, but there's three, you know. Three, uh, three stolen. Three stolen. Okay. Yeah. would be three separate <laughs> okay. incidents. Where gotcha. You know, it's like, you know. You know one I mean? thing. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. And is car 13 back on the road? That was my other question. I think it is. It's just that sad zero. The yeah. <laughs> big A yeah. for my well, life. So there was one car during that time period, I think that was in transition being stripped out for one of the new cars. I don't know if that was car 13 or not. We don't have any that I'm aware of that are are outside standing for search right now that are not usable. 
So okay. just a few less miles traveled. Yes. Don't have any questions? Right. Anything else we should be aware of? I don't know if it would be new business or not, or if you want to discuss it about uh, Jamie Ball's news today. Oh, I should have put that in my chairperson report. Yeah. Um, I am excited to let you all know that uh, we have been accepted into um, a dog program. So we still don't have done yet, but our application was accepted and Officer Ball was approved. So that's something to look forward coming down the line. That's great news. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, the name of that company that's, that provides the dog is uh, Canine Companions for Independence. Mm -hmm. And uh, Officer Ball went down to New York uh, on Thursday? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday of last, thir of last week, Thursday or Friday. Friday. Right. Yeah. Either way, he went down there last week, he went last week, and he spent several hours down there going through a whole process where they kind of took a look at not just his application uh, for us and for him as a handler, but also like some uh, sort of on site work about his ability to handle a dog. He had to go through several hours of, of uh, I guess, testing of sorts. And then they let him know late this afternoon that uh, he and we have been accepted to receive one of their dogs if we so choose. Uh, we do not have a time frame yet. Uh, they're trying to work on that, but we're hoping for July or August. So you know, get him in here for the concert series. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot, a lot of smiles downstairs about that. I'm sorry. Yeah. There we go. All right. Any other business new or old that you'd like to address? Not sure anything. What you gave us the day of the next meeting, April 11th. 11th. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, I'd like to move the way I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Then this meeting adjourned at 5.16 p.m. Aye.